And I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. It's not about personality matrixels and charts. It's all about the bumps in your heart. If you haven't been here before, welcome. I'm glad you're here. As you may have noticed, I didn't have a vlog up <laughs> this last week because last weekend was so crazy busy. I didn't have time to film at all, which was fine because I did put up my like TBR video and stuff. But yeah, that's why I was gone. <laughs> but before we get too into this vlog, I did want to mention that this video is actually sponsored by Ana Luisa, which is an amazing jewelry company. A lot of you have asked me where I get my jewelry. I've definitely had multiple people message me asking, and I always say Ana Luisa. Even before they reached out to me, I had loved their jewelry. Their company philosophy is amazing. They make sustainable jewelry. They make luxury feeling jewelry for an affordable price. And all of the gold that they used is recycled. So it's just an amazing company and I was so excited when they reached out to me. They did want to send me three pieces. So the ones that I chose was first of all this necklace because it is a moonstone which is one of my birthstones and it's in the shape of a heart and it's just so cute. I love heart shaped necklaces. I think they're just precious and also really good for layering. This necklace is like perfect for layering. That's what I really love about their pieces. You're able to layer all of them and they look so good together. Um, so I also got this bracelet and it's called like a paperclip style bracelet, which I think is so cute. Um, I can't wait to layer another bracelet with it. I think it'll look really good with another bracelet as well. And then I also got this little ring, like a braided rope almost. It's so cute. I just love it. Um, so those were the three pieces I got and they are seriously such good quality. Like the clasps on them, I don't know if you can tell, but they're just so nice <laughs> and they're at such a good price. Another thing that's awesome is they have pre-layered necklaces. So they have like sets where you can get the whole set for like $115 or something like that and you get three necklaces that you know are going to look good together. For me, I feel like layering necklaces can sometimes be like a tricky thing, but I love layered necklaces. I love them so much. So it's nice that you already have like the necklaces pre-layered for you. I definitely want to pick up one of their layered necklaces at some point. I'm so proud to be partnering with them. I just love them. They're definitely a company that I feel so comfortable standing behind because I know that they're doing amazing things for the jewelry industry. They're affordable but really well made and they do ship out in these little cute little pouches which is really nice because you can like reuse these and uh, you know if you're going traveling or something you can put your jewelry in there so they don't get all tangled which is nice and they also have free US shipping and returns which is just amazing so I will leave their website linked down below in case you're looking for some new high quality pieces to add to your collection. I definitely know I will be picking up more of their pieces in the future. Uh, they're coming out with new pieces all the time too which is really cool so. You can check out the link below in the description and use the code KaylinAB10 for 10% off your first order. And I want to say thank you, Annalisa, for partnering with me on this video. Now let's get into the books that I am planning on reading for this 24-hour readathon. Because I didn't read last weekend, and all this week I was actually sick, <laughs> I really wanted to do a 24-hour readathon where I know, where I knew that I would be able to get through some books. I've had a pretty mediocre reading year. It's definitely not been as good as last year and so I want to try to catch up. I know it won't be nearly as good because I'm so far behind <laughs> but I really want to try. So I finished this morning reading The Promised Neverland and this is the third one in the series and I loved it. They actually just came out with a Netflix series on this on 
I don't know, sometime this past week. So I really wanna get caught up on this so I can start watching the anime. The next book I'm planning on reading, I actually got to page 74 this morning and that is a Monster Calls and wow, this is so sad already. I'm not even halfway through and I've been tearing up the entire time pretty much. This feels like a very personal story for me too, which I won't talk about too much right now, but I really enjoyed hearing Connor's what Connor's going through and how he's handling it. It's been super sad, but also, I don't know, very eye-opening and I don't know. I love it so far. So, so I definitely wanna finish reading this one next. <laughs> Last book I have on my list, but I might pick up another one too if I finish, is A Pinch of Magic. And I am so excited to read this book. I have literally been wanting to read this book for a year now. Um, it's not like super long and the writing is pretty big. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get through like quite a bit of reading this weekend. Um, but yeah, that is my reading plans. I don't really have a ton of other plans for the weekend. I was actually planning on going to the apple orchard, which I had talked about, I think in my last vlog but <laughs> we had a hailstorm which you guys had seen the damage of and i didn't think that it had hit the apple orchards but it did apple picking is done for the season and i am so sad <laughs> it happened last year too and and just uh i'm so sad because i really was hoping to go this year it's been like an annual tradition since we moved to colorado springs and now the past two years we haven't been able to go so really bummed about that but that's all right but instead of going to the apple orchard i think i want to go to the bookstore because i haven't been there in forever and i thought that might be fun and we can get some sort of like fall drink even though it's really hot out <laughs> um but yeah so we can take a little break from reading and do that yeah i thought that would at least be something fun to do <laughs> um but anyways i am going to finish reading this guy I don't have that much longer left like that I got through this in such a short amount of time so yeah I think I can get through this like really quickly I do want to watch the movie for this too all of you said that the movie for this is so good so if I can then I will but that's gonna be a lot of crying <laughs> and I don't think Teddy will want to watch the movie of this so I'll have to do it by myself and just cry <laughs> Anyways, let's get into reading. I think I'm gonna read um, on my little day bed thing because it's like so bright in here and it feels so cozy. So let's get into it. reading this I had to take a little breather because I was pretty much sobbing my eyes out <laughs> um but man this was so good I really loved how the main character Connor was talked about in this and, and his emotions that he went through everything that he was going through in this was heartbreaking but um I think that it was done in a really relatable way and um I don't know there's a lot of there's a lot of depth to Connor and his story and him dealing with grief him dealing with struggling with letting go and who lots of heavy topics <laughs> that's for sure it's, it's a heavy one that's all I'm gonna say um but yeah I really recommend reading it if you haven't I think this is one of those books that I think everyone should read in their life um for me, it really made me see how 
people that have gone through something that is this traumatic and this um, impactful, especially as a child, how that can affect them. And I think I also had a little, like, I felt like this story was kind of something that personally affected me a lot too because um, my husband has gone through something like this. Not exactly the same, obviously, but um, yeah, he... It was interesting to talk to him about his experience. Um, and it's his story is not one that I feel comfortable sharing because it's not my story, but it was definitely... I don't know, I'm glad that it opened up the conversation for me and him to talk about something that was really serious and that affected him for the rest of his life. So, yeah. I feel like this book is such a human book and um, the emotions that are felt in it, the, the problems that are in this, it's such a human experience and one of the hardest that you could deal with, so. Anyways, <laughs> moving on to something a little more happy. I think I'm going to pick this up now. I also want Teddy to help me. I, ha I got these tests, a food allergy test that I got, and then I also got a B vitamins test. I've been dealing with stomach issues lately, and I always have, but I really want to check and see if there's anything contributing to it. I have taken like the big four allergy test or whatever it is, so it does like milk, gluten, uh, something two other things <laughs> that I don't remember um, but I got this to see if there's anything that I'm sensitive to because it can affect so many things it can affect um, like inflammation so putting on weight it can affect your mood so I wanted to check that and I've also been dealing with a lot of like anxiety and depression which I've talked about before but I feel like it's gotten worse lately or I mean I feel like ever since maybe November, I feel like it's kind of been a little more of a struggle for me. So I wanted to check and see if maybe I was low on B vitamins because I've heard that that can be a factor because I've also been really tired. So yeah, if it's not, then, you know, we'll figure it out. But yeah, I wanted to take those to see if it was something that I was missing. <laughs> One of my biggest fears is actually needles. So <laughs> you have to prick your finger on for these tests and I'm terrified to do that by myself. So I need his help to do that. Can you tell me where to start? I need someone to empty this heart.
the weed Just stay true to what you believe in To what you believe in Slide your rain border and wiser rain Just hold on to what you believe happy Sunday. Um, I have actually been spending literally the entire morning reading. <laughs> so let's start with what I finished. I ended up reading the next book in this as well. So I got through two of these over the weekend. This one was probably one of my favorites actually out of the four because this is the fourth one. Um, I really liked the first one and I liked the third one and then I like this one as well. But yeah, it's. I feel like the story is really picking up. I think I'm gonna go through five and then watch the anime because um, the anime goes through the first five of the mangas. So, yes, I'm excited, but I like I really loved this one. This one for me was probably like a, a five stars. And I read a lot last night. I think I ended up staying up until like midnight, which is really late for me. Um, and I ended up kind of like falling asleep as I was reading, which I rarely do. So I was like, you know what, I think I need to go to sleep so I can wake up early and start reading again. So I got to chapter 24 uh, this morning and last night. <laughs> so I literally only have a few chapters left and I'm loving it so much. This is, I think, gonna be one of my favorite books of the year. It's just so magical and I love Michelle Harrison's uh, voice in this. I think she's such an amazing author. I really, really do. I really want to pick up the second book already. <laughs> like I was, I brought it out because I was thinking of just immediately picking up the second book. Um, but I don't think I am because I'm listening to this and reading along and I love the audiobook. So I think I want to wait until they make an audiobook for this one and then listen to it, which I don't know when that's going to be. So we'll see if that actually happens. But I just love the audiobook. It's been so good. The audiobook narrator does all the voices, which you guys know is like the best part of, of a narrator. I think it is a big deal when they do that. And the three sisters in here all have such distinct personalities. I think when you have like multiple main-ish characters, it's hard to have all of them have distinct personalities. Um, so <laughs> I really have loved them. And there's a quiz at the end of the book for which Windershin's sister are you? I think I know which one I am. I think I'm the oldest, which is Fliss. Um, and Fliss is much more like, she's much more calm and like almost like kind, not as energetic as Betty, who is like the main, main sister. And she's much more adventurous and stuff, which I am adventurous, but I think I lean more towards uh, a Fliss for sure. The youngest is named Charlie and oh, she is so cute. The voice narrator actress is really good with Charlie's voice. It's, I think she has kind of a little bit of a lisp and she loves food. She also loves animals and like protecting animals, which is really cute. But she's also so sassy, so cute and funny. I'm in love with her. She's probably my favorite character in this because she has so much personality and she's so funny. Um, yeah, anyways, so I was gonna take the quiz on the end of here because I think that will be really fun. Um, and I'll let you know which character I am. Okay, so I am actually Charlie by one and I think it's because she likes food and animals and I do like those things as well. <laughs> I think it's so cute that she put a little quiz at the back. I feel like people, especially kids, would love to take that quiz to see uh, which of the three sisters they are. So. I wanted to do a quick book haul with you guys with some of the books that I got and two I got two of them at Barnes and Noble yesterday and then two from Amazon and one of them was sent to me. Okay, so let's do the two that I got from Barnes and Noble. So the first one I got was A Fable by Adrian Young and one this cover is gorgeous. Like I wish that I looked like this. <laughs> 
I want red hair so badly and freckles so badly. I used to have freckles when I was a kid, but don't have them much anymore. A little bit if I am out in the sun. But yeah, this is about a pirate and that's all I know. But I did read one of her books last year. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure she's the one that wrote the Viking book. Oh my gosh, what was it called? Sky in the Deep, I think. I think that's the one she wrote. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to pick this one up because I've been wanting to read another one of her books and I know she came out with another Viking book. It was like the girl in the sea or something like that, but I didn't pick that one up, but this one seems like kind of, I don't know. The cover is just very fall to me and, uh, there's like a map in here as well. So definitely excited to pick this up. I think it looks really good. The next one I got was kind of an impulse buy purely based on the cover. We went in the middle grade section and I saw this and I was like, oh, this is so pretty. So <laughs> it is The Wild Path by Sarah R. Bogman. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is fall. Like this book takes place in fall. There's fall leaves falling down on this like horse scenery. It's so pretty. <laughs> this girl finds these mysterious horses in the forest. And so she's kind of trying to figure out the mystery behind these horses. And also she's struggling with uh, some familial issues, specifically her family is struggling with addiction, which I think is a really interesting topic in middle grade. I haven't ever read a book where there's any sort of like struggles with addiction or anything. So I'm very interested in this. And it, I looked up the ratings online and they had amazing ratings. So just look at that. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I think I might try to add this into the um, readathon as well, just because I really want to pick this up and it's fall. So yeah. <laughs> the one that was sent to me is The Forgotten Kingdom by Signe Pike. This is the second book in the Lost Queen series. I just read The Lost Queen a few weeks ago or a few months ago and I loved it. Five out of five stars, one of my favorite books of the year. And so I was so excited that they sent me the second book in the series. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending this to me. So excited to read this and I really want to pick it up like ASAP. So if you're into Scotland, definitely pick this up. This is like a mix between King Arthur and Outlander. It has a King Arthur story in this, but it also um, is very much Outlander-esque. And they talk about the religion of the Scottish people from back in that time. And it's so interesting, the history behind this. You can tell that the author has done so much research. Ugh, I, this is such an underrated series. It's more of like a historical fiction with like a little bit of magical realism a little bit. Like there's definitely, if you guys have seen the show Vikings and there's like this mystical religion aspect of that show, this has that as well and I just, Love it. I can't wait to read this book, so yeah. And the next one I got was Coraline. This is the graphic novel of Coraline. I have the regular novel, but when I heard there was a graphic novel for this, I was like, yes, this is exactly what I wanna read for October, so I am really excited to read this. If you guys haven't read Coraline, I highly suggest it. And I'm hoping that this experience, since it's a graphic novel, will be kind of a different one since I have read the book and watched the movie. I'm hoping that this will be like a new experience even though it's the same story. So and then the last one I have is Blood and Honey by Shelby Maharin. And I read the first book in the series, Serpent and Dove, last year. And I liked it, it wasn't one of my favorites, but I love these, I love the setting. This book takes place in France, but there's like more modern language in it. Um, I just, <laughs> I just want to read it. Okay. I want to read it. I want to see what happens with Lou and Reed. So yeah. Um, I definitely loved the like love aspect in this last time because it was like a slow burn, love to hate, hate to love, whatever, hate to love, <laughs> hate to love romance. And, uh, yeah, so I'm excited to see what's gonna happen in this. And this cover is really, really pretty as well. So those are the, the newest books that I have, but um, I really wanna finish this off. So I am going to finish this off and then I might even start another book right afterwards. I have read 
two of the prompts for the readathon so far, so I feel like I'm on a really good roll. So I don't know if I want to pick up any more middle grade since I've I've already finished two prompts and I still have the rest of the month to read them. So yeah, I think I might pick up like a fantasy or something different, but I'll keep you updated. <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you Making me wanna try forever and I feel Alright friends, so it is now what time is it? Almost five o'clock. So it's definitely been the end of the of the readathon because I started yesterday at one o'clock, I think. But I wanted to give myself a few more hours just because I slept a little bit <laughs> um last night. So yeah, but let's go for what I read. I finished reading these two and I loved them. I kind of talked about them earlier, so I'm not gonna say too much more about them, but I love where the story's going. I'm excited to get to the fifth one so I can finally watch the anime. I just love this. I love this, this manga so much. I really recommend it. The next book that I finished was A Monster Calls. Loved this, oh my gosh. Like such a good book, loved the conversation. Um, yeah, loved everything about it. So uh, definitely a five star for me and I would recommend anyone read it. Yeah, I actually think I'm going to watch this movie tonight. Um, I do have a live show actually for one of my book clubs tonight. So I'll probably start it before then. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah. And then the last book that I read was A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison. I finished this off and so good. <laughs> I feel like when I was talking about it earlier, I pretty much talked about everything that I loved about this. I love everything about this book, like everything. This is gonna be a favorite of the year for sure. Five stars, beautiful writing. I loved how at, I think any age could read this and uh, love it because even though it is a middle grade, I, I just think I've, everyone would love it. I really do. It's such a good book. So yes. Um, and I did start reading actually, I wanted to mention, I did start reading this bad boy. I don't know why I decided to do it. I think it's because I really, my goal every year is to finish 1000 page book. And this was the book that I wanted to finish this year. Um, so yeah, this, I read it last year. And then before that I read way of Kings. So I really want to 
get to the second one and it is so thick. I actually did read a fourth of it earlier. Um, it might have even been last year. It's been a while since I picked this book up, but I really want to finish it off this year. So I definitely am going to start reading more of this when I have like spare time or I don't know what book to pick up. I'm going to pick this up. So yeah, I might read a little more of this tonight, but obviously I won't finish this anytime soon. So yeah, but if you guys are interested in epic fantasy, this is so good. It's so good. So packed with, with so much information and like Brandon Sanderson sp spent so much time in this world, but it is just like so beautiful. Look at that. Ugh, such a beautiful world. So before I end the video, I did want to say thank you so much, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in some amazing jewelry that is sustainable, good quality for an amazing price, definitely check them out down below. I seriously love this company and I'm so proud to be working with them. Um, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. I feel so free on oh, my sweet baby.